Welcome to the webinar, Simplify Your Year End with Sage Intact 1099 e-filing powered by Tax Bandits, hosted by Sage Intact and Tax Bandits. Today, we'll be introducing a great new way for you to simplify your e-filing process and meet your IRS filing requirements. If you're unable to see the webinar in full screen, please try clicking the square in the upper right of the webinar to enlarge the view. If you have any questions at any time during the webinar, please enter them in the question box and click send. We'll have a brief question and answer at the end of the webinar. However, if we do not get to all the questions, we will follow up with you via email after the webinar. We do want to mention we are not tax advisors and will not be providing specific tax advice. We will purely be discussing IRS e-filing requirements and the process of e-filing. For specific tax questions, please contact your CPA. Now it's time to get started. My name is Audrey and I'm excited to moderate this discussion today. We're going to hear from two experts for this webinar. First, we have Mai Huang, our Senior Product Manager at Sage Intact, and we're also joined by Christina Wright, Product Manager at Tax Bandits. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us today, Mai and Christina. And I'll now hand it off to Christina from Tax Bandits. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thank you so much for, for introducing us. We're so excited to be here today. Um, today we'll discuss the Tax Bandits and Sage Partnership. We'll go through um, some information about the IRS changes, the industry, a brief demo of the filing process, and then we'll have a Q&A at the end. Now, I want to get started um, just telling our audience a little bit more about Tax Bandits. We are an IRS authorized e-file provider with over a decade of experience. We are SOC 2 certified, and with Tax Bandits, you can easily e-file forms with the IRS, SSA, and states to maintain your compliance. As you can see, we support a wide variety of 1099s. And now that you know a little bit more about us, I wanna talk about the state of e-filing today. I'm sure that many of you are aware that the IRS has thresholds in place for their filing requirements, such as business entities that file 250 or more information returns being required to e-file. What you may not know is that the IRS is looking at lowering those thresholds in the not so distant future. They will continue lowering the number of forms required to be e-filed. And the next phase in that movement is changing the threshold amount from 250 forms all the way down to 100 forms. This isn't the first time that the IRS has tightened the restrictions on paper filing either. The nonprofit sector is already dealing with this. They've been mandated by the IRS to e-file since as far back as 2019. The IRS is moving toward e-filing. Knowing what we do, it's the best practice to get a solid, easy-to-use e-file solution in place now so that you don't find yourself out of time and scrambling for one later. With the Sage Tax Bandits Partnership, we're making it easier than ever for you to save yourself time and money by switching to e-filing. This is your solution for e-filing your 1099s with the IRS and state, distributing your recipient copies, and tracking the status of your forms from a central location. Now, as you probably know, filing taxes comes with its own set of challenges. So let's talk about how e-filing with Sage and Tax Bandits solves those challenges. Now, one of the most frustrating things about filing is after you've gone through the process of completing your forms and sending them to the IRS, you're left wondering what happened to them. To give you some context on the seriousness of backlogged returns, as of 2022, October 2022, as a, as a matter of fact, the IRS has over 4 million business returns pending initial processing. With Tax Bandits, you'll have access to view the status of your form at all times, and you'll even receive an email notification once the forms have been processed by the IRS in as little as 24 to 48 hours. The only thing more frustrating than being in the dark about the status of your form is to find out weeks, months, or years later that it's been rejected. When filing with tax bandits, your forms are automatically audited using the IRS business rules and helping you to correct errors before they become a rejection. Another hurdle of tax time is distributing your recipient copies. No one wants to spend hours, if not days, printing forms, sealing them in envelopes, postmarking every single one, and then making a trip to the post office. Our goal is to make your tax season as easy as possible. That's why when filing with tax bandits, you can choose to have us print and mail your recipient copies. 
we even use USPS address validation to ensure that the recipient's copies are mailed to a valid address. And of course, security is always a priority, so personal identifiable information is masked on the returns. Something that many people don't consider when distributing recipient copies is how many of those forms they are going to have to locate and send all over again months or years down the road. But there will inevitably be recipients losing forms and contacting you when they're buying a house, for example, in a couple of years and need their financial documents. This is why we've developed online retrieval for the recipient copies. With online retrieval, recipients are emailed a secure link to our portal. On our portal, the recipients enter their TIN as well as a one-time access code that they're sent via email each time they sign in. The IRS only allows you to provide recipient copies electronically if you receive documented consent from the recipient. This is why before accessing their forms on our portal, Recipients are shown a disclosure where they must consent to receiving an electronic copy of the form. Once they've consented, they'll have access to the document. Now, to show you how our customers feel about tax bandits, we're going to go over a few pieces of feedback from them. So our first one is, I love tax bandits. I've used it for three reasons. It's easy, efficient, cost effective. Everything I need to do and retrieve is in one place. Thank you, Tax Bandits. It is the best. Highly recommend. Plus, they are always making improvements. Gotta love it. Next, we have everything is wonderful about Tax Bandits. I've been using it for at least two years and have never had any problems. The website is fully understandable, even for a beginner like me, and it is so nice to locate my filed documents so easily. I have total peace of mind in filing my taxes through Tax Bandits. I couldn't be happier with the service. And finally, this is just too easy. I should have started using your service years ago, seriously. So definitely some positive feedback from our customers there. Now it's time to, to go ahead and get started on our demo. Sage Intact 1099 e-filing powered by Tax Bandits makes filing faster, letting you work smarter, not harder. Mai will now show you how you'll get your form details directly from Sage to Tax Bandits without filling out and formatting spreadsheets or worse, manually entering data. We are integrating with Tax Bandits, an IRS authorized e file provider, to bring you an end to end 1099 e filing experience. 1099 data is directly transferred from Sage Intact to Tax Bandits eliminating manual effort of printing 1099 on paper form or downloading and uploading to third-party e-file provider. The e-filing workflow consists of two main parts, one in Sage Intact and the other in Tax Bandits. In Sage Intact, you will maintain 1099 vendors, 1099 transactions, review 1099 report, and make necessary correction as how you are doing it right now. When you are ready to e-file, transfer the data to Tax Bandits, where you will perform next steps to complete 1099 e-filing. In Tax Bandits, the system will check for any errors that need to be corrected to meet IRS or state requirements. There are other services that you can select, such as online access or mailing copies to the recipients. After you, you submit forms to the IRS from Tax Bandits, you can check the status of your submission in your Tax Bandits account. In order to enable 1099 e-filing, you need to enable Sage Cloud services, configure accounts payable, and create Tax Bandits account. Let's take a look at the system. First, a admin user needs to enable Sage Cloud services in company subscription. If it is already enabled, it can remain at this. Second, once Sage Cloud service is enabled, an admin user can proceed to Accounts Payable module, configure Accounts Payable page, and select the checkbox 1099 e-filing powered by Tax Bandits. To find out more about Tax Bandits terms of use, privacy statement, and pricing, Click on question mark symbol. Third, 
visit TaxBandit's website and create an account by providing your email address, contact name, login password, and phone number. By creating a TaxBandit account, you are by default an admin user, and you can define who has access to that TaxBandit account. If there are more than one staff working on 1099 e-filing for the company, and you want all your staff to share the same tax bandits account and to be able to view each other's 1099 e-filing submission, it is recommended that you select the Manage Staff option. Here you can invite the staff to join your tax bandits account. You can control the accessibility by assigning the business or entity that they should have access to. By enabling Sage Cloud services, configure accounts payable, and creating tax bandits account, 1099 e-filing feature is now enabled for your company. Once 1099 e-filing feature is enabled and you have form 1099 user permission, you will see a new 1099 e-file submissions transactions on accounts payable menu. Click on that. 1099 e-file submission log shows you all of your submission batches and their status. Click Add to create a new batch. On this page, select your year ending date, vendors, entity, and form type. Click e-file. A pop-up appears to show you a summary of the batch. To review details before you send information to tax bandits, Click Download File. Otherwise, click eFile. System will launch a new tab for you to log into Tax Bandits. If a new tab is not opened, check your browser setting and allow pop up. You can sign in with your existing Tax Bandits account or click Sign Up to create a new account. Accept Tax Bandit Privacy Policy in Terms of Services. The tab then closes and you return to Sage Intact. The batch status will first appear as in progress as system is processing. After a while, depending on the amount of 1099 data, click Refresh button to get updated status. If the status changes to failed, follow action log to review errors and resubmit the batch. If the status changes to submitted, the data is successfully transferred to Tax Bandits. Click on Batch ID hyperlink to continue 1099 e filing step. You are redirected back to Tax Bandits where you verify your company's business information. Click Continue. You see your batch and a breakdown of the records that are ready to file and the record that contain errors and need to be corrected. Click Fix Errors. Correct the highlighted errors. Click Save and Continue. Make sure to correct your records in Sage Intact to reflect the same change. Alternatively, you can also make changes in Sage Intact first and resubmit the batch with the correct information in Tax Bandits. Here you can edit or delete form, enable postal mailing, grant online access to recipients, perform bug action opt-in or opt-out of state e-file. After confirming your selected services, click Continue. Review the summary or 1099 forms. Click Continue. Tax Bandits does a final check for any remaining errors. If there is nothing, click Continue. Confirm your card summary and click Complete your order to proceed to payment. Fill in credit card information and click Pay and Transmit. Alternatively, you can also use your prepaid credit.
After you submit your payment, you see your order confirmation. When the IRS or SSS processes your forms, you will receive an email. You can view your transmitted forms in the distribution center. In the print form section, click continue. Click print 1099 forms. There are multiple filters you can choose from. Select your desired filters and click download with either mask or unmasked tin. Great. Thanks, Mai, for a really insightful presentation. Now for a Q&A section. We're nearing the end of our time today, but we do have a few more minutes and we'll try to get through as many as we can before we hit our time limit. Um, so we have a question for Mai. If I edit information in Tax Bandits, are my details in Sage updated as well? Thank you, Audrey. That's a good question. Um, if you edit information directly in Tax Bandits, the changes are not updated in Sage. In order to make sure that the data is consistent between Sage Intact and Tax Bandits, you have options to either edit information in Tax Bandits and later on update in Sage Intact or update Sage Intact first and then re import the data to Tax Bandits. Great, Mai. So it sounds like no double data entry there. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and then I have a question coming in for Christina. How long will I have access to my forms in Tax Bandits? That's another great question. You'll have access to your forms filed through Tax Bandits for seven years. Great. And then is there a limit to the number of businesses or recipients I can file for in my Tax Bandits account? There is no limit. You can file for as many businesses and recipients as you need to from a single Tax Bandits account. That sounds excellent. All right, now um, another one from Mai. Someone is asking, what is the pricing? Sure, um, Sage Intact customer will be charged directly by tax bandits um, based on their consumption, such as how many forms, uh, what are the services that they use. Um, Sage Intact customer will receive 10% discount of the filing fee for the supported 1099 forms. And the online portal for a recipient copies is provided to Sage customer free of charge. So for more information about pricing, our customer can always refer to Sage Intech help page. Um, another one here. Can I do bulk upload Excel CSV template in Tax Bandits? Sure, of course you can. Tax Bandits provides um, standard templates for bulk upload if you want to. Um, you can also manually create the 1099 forms, do the 1099 correction forms, or even void the return directly in tax bandits. Okay, this is a pretty important one. How do I know if my 1099 e-filing is successful? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Um, as you can see in my demo, after your batch of 1099 forms is successfully transferred from Sage Intech to Tax Bandits, you need to complete your e-filing journey in Tax Bandits. System will tell you to fix the errors if there is any, to select the type of services, to do state filing if applicable, and finally to make payment. So once all of this is done, um, you will be able to review your e-filing status on 1099 dashboard in Tax Bandits. Um, generally, Tax Bandit will indicate if your 1099 uh, data is in transit, accepted, or rejected, and you will also be notified via email when the status changes. You can also download copies of your submitted 1099 forms in Tax Bandit, so everything in one place. Awesome. These were some really great questions and we're all out of time today, but before we sign off, um, thanks to Christina and Mai for taking the time to share your expertise and insights with us today. For our viewers, if you ask a question during the Q&A that we didn't get to, the team will deliver an answer to you via email. And through a partnership with Tax Bandits, we help you file and distribute your 1099s accurately and efficiently. Streamline your tax year 2022 season with our Sage Tax Bandits integration. Please feel free to contact us with any questions and thank you for watching. And today's webinar will also be available on demand if you want to review anything we talked about. Thank you.